Hey, Sean Fife with Fife Outdoors here today. We're going to be doing a review on the automotive custom lighting plug and play turn signal kit for the 2015 through 2019 Polaris Ranger. This particular one we're going to be installing in is going to be a 19 crew. So we're going to get, get into this video here for you guys. What we've got here is a standard 7 pin and 4 pin plug. This will give you your left and right turn signal along with your running lights and brake lights. Uh, this particular model here is a Hopkins brand. They provided the Hopkins. I assume they're going to stick with the Hopkins brand. They've got a little bit better quality than some of the others I've used in the past. So you can see down in here it's actually sealed in. Wires are sealed in. You don't have the screws running all the way along here that you've got to uh, tighten down with the Phillips or flat headed screw. So that there's a way better setup than most of them that you can see out there so these two wires here go to your license plate light it's going to come just like this right here if you choose to put this on for you guys especially that's got uh, your license plates for road legal you're going to just need two uh, female connectors here these two here are 14 uh, through 16 gauge if I'm not mistaken they'll plug right in you will take your provided light that you're going to already have or that you're using your license plate light whether it be molded into your bracket or just a standard little light you're going to put those in there and then crimp them down or solder them however you guys want to terminate them to your license plate light so you guys can see on this harness here it is waterproof plugs the ends are got nice seals on them just like a lot of the other plugs on the Rangers, real nice seals. Don't have to worry about water or moisture getting into there. So, and then you've got this in here. This is going to be your left and right tail lights. And this here is going to be the plug on up front. You're just going to plug that right into your factory, factory setup and you'll be good to go on that. Whenever you guys get this, this bracket will actually be rotated over. I've rotated this one sideways because we're going to mount it underneath the Ranger bed just like this with this four prong being down on the bottom. And that's so you can get this opened up and not hitting anything. And as you guys can see here, I've taken this bracket and bent it up just a little bit. Whenever it comes, it's going to be at a 90 here, just a nice L shape. We've bent this up and what that's going to do is allow us to mount it down just a little bit to get that big eight or i'm sorry seven pin plug in there you won't have to worry about it hitting on anything and we've got an aluminum bracket that we made it's going to be five inches long and this here is going to be three inches wide so and then we're just going to take two stainless steel bolts and mount that right up underneath there so we can get to it nice and easy and we're going to be using for these uh screws going into the actual bed the plastic they're going to be a Polaris OEM screw. The Polaris number on those are going to be 7519045. And that's going to be a body torque screw is going to be the name of it. And it's T25 head on it. It's the same screw that they use in the back seat to mount the seats to the, to the frames. And also all along the bottom. As you guys know, most of these Rangers now are a lot of plastic, so that's the same screw that they're going to be using. Like I said, that's a OEM number of 7519045. You guys can pick that up on Amazon or eBay. If I'm not mistaken, you can get four of them for about 7 or $8, so not too bad on the pricing. I'm sure you guys can use some other screw if you choose to, but I just decided to go ahead and put the same type of screws that they're using and the rest of the body and chassis on these so and this does come with all four screws I've got two of them out right now and that's just so I could rotate this over to get this pre-fitted in fact I'll go ahead and take you guys over here and show you what we got going on the camera's gonna get a little shaky here for a second but uh, I'll show you what we got going on here like I said this here's a 19 so the exhaust is off to the right side here but underneath here if you guys look they've got plastic studs take this off for you guys you've got plastic studs sticking down from the bed there 
And they've got them over here on the other side also. I don't know if you guys can see up in there or not with that bright light shining, but uh, you can see those two there on the right side. We've used the two on the left side. It seems to be the best for what we got going on. And we just took a little, little thin piece of aluminum here. You guys can see I went ahead and put the dimensions on it there for you. So if you choose to use those, you can. Plate's going to be uh, five inches long, three inches wide. The drill bit we used on this one's going to be 17 64 and 7 30 seconds on this one here. These two side ones here is what the actual bracket's going to mount to. So whenever this comes up, it'll mount just like that. Go ahead and stick a screw back in it here. It's hard to do one-handed, but we'll get there. So we're going to have two stainless steel screws going up in there. And then, uh, as you guys can see now, maybe, if I can hold this thing still, you can see if that was at a 90-degree angle, then it's going to be a little bit rougher to get that big old plug in there. So that's the reason why we've bent that bracket down just a little bit. And that's going to let it clear the bed here. You guys can see if you're looking at it level, it's going to be hard to get that in there if it's up in there a little bit. So we've got it bent down. And we're going to put uh, those two bolts in it and mount it in there. And the other reason was this pigtail right here that comes out of this harness. We want it to go through this hole just like the factory did here. And that's going to keep the tilt bed from rubbing up against it and we may go ahead and put a little bit of plastic uh, protecting around it. This harness that they've got looks to be pretty tough but uh, we don't want to mess up any of their nice work with it rubbing so we're going to put probably a little bit of plastic around it to uh, help ensure that nothing rubs a hole in it. So that's what we got going on guys and that is the uh, rear portion for the uh, trailer plug and also the license plate light. If you guys got any questions, don't be afraid to send us a comment. Uh, David would be more than happy to answer any questions. And if there's anything I can help you guys with, feel free to hit us up. If you would, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and you guys be safe out there.